Hello and welcome to a short video on how to create a panorama in PaintShop Pro X4. To start, we will need to select two images from our organizer tray. And then click on the Edit tab. In order to make some room, I'm going to close down some palettes just so I can see my pictures a whole lot larger. Next, I'm going to create the background. So I'm going to use the panorama preset, keep the dimensions the way they are, and the background transparent. Click OK. Next, we need to resize the image. I'm going to select the first tab, click Image, then Resize. I'm going to change the dimensions to match the same as the background. But before that, I will need to uncheck the lock aspect ratio. So I need to go into my event settings and deselect it. Now I can change it to the proper dimensions. Selecting the next image, I will resize it to the same dimensions as the first one. And then click OK. Next, I will show my windows side by side by clicking on Windows, then Tile Vertically. Next, I'm going to copy and paste each image onto my canvas. Doing this, I am right-clicking on each image, selecting Copy, and then going to my Canvas background and selecting Paste as New Layer. Now, I'm going to close out the first two images that I was working with and expand my background image. At this point, I'm going to want to resize my images, so I'm selecting my pick tool and I'm grabbing the side node, the far side node. Now, if you ever make a mistake and grab the wrong image, you can use a control Z on your keyboard and undo the last action. And again, make sure that you are selecting the proper layer with each image that you are working with. It may also be necessary for you to work with the upper and lower notes just so you can get the image a little bit more even. I am also overlapping one of the other images because what I'm going to be doing next is getting rid of that middle line. With that being said, I am going to make that image the top layer and to get rid of this line that's going down the middle I am going to grab my eraser tool I'm going to adjust some of the settings such as the hardness bring it down and the opacity as well this will give a nice blending effect when trying to remove that line going down the center of the image. It's also worthwhile to try to adjust the lightness of the contrast or even the backlighting of your image just so both of them match up. And then last we're going to merge our layers just by right clicking on one of the layers and selecting merge and then merge all. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and thank you very much for watching.